Incredibly, 80% of all insects live in jungles. Few are more successful than the ants. There can be 8 million individuals in a single hectare. But jungle ants don't have it all their own way. These bullet ants are showing some worrying symptoms. Spores from a parasitic fungus called cordyceps have infiltrated their bodies and their minds. Its infected brain directs this ant upwards. Then, utterly disorientated, it grips a stem with its mandibles. Those afflicted, that are discovered by the workers, are quickly taken away and dumped far away from the colony. It seems extreme, but this is the reason why. Like something out of science fiction, the fruiting body of the cordyceps erupts from the ant's head. It can take three weeks to grow, and when finished, the deadly spores will burst from its tip. Then, any ant in the vicinity will be in serious risk of death. The fungus is so virulent, it can wipe out whole colonies of ants. And it's not just ants that fall victim to this killer. There are, literally, thousands of different types of cordyceps fungi, and remarkably, each specializes on just one species. So, when ant gets infected by endoparasitoid fungi known as cordyceps, other ants are willing to discard him because nature doesn't care about feelings. They do so for the colony's survival, they know that they can't help the infected and know that his presence puts entire colony in jeopardy. Same principle applies to pro-male spaces, if we tolerate conspiracy theorists, other derailers and obsessive people in general, on our spaces, our spaces will be ruined. When I started uploading videos on this channel, I did so out of my desire to help informing pro-male community and attracting pro-male men willing to work and share ideas together to further pro-male cause. I want for men to get fair treatment, defend and promote their rights and I'm willing to use all the available tools in order to achieve this goal. I'm not here to promote male utility, men are already seen as plow horses instead of the human folk. Men need to stop playing heroes and stop seeing themselves as utility that only exists to serve the system and the women. If men want to be treated as people, then they need to start acting as people, collectively fight for their rights and better treatment as priority. I'm not here to promote altruism and give you pat on the back for thinking that you're the hero and not the sacrificial animal. If you ask me, but, B. but, what about the system? My only response would be, does the system, that same system that you care so much about, does it care about you? Does that system value and acknowledges your humanity instead of treating you like a disposable cog in the machine? To borrow the metaphor from my first video, men are paddling on the boat where women not only get to leave first, but are also exempt from paddling as well and I don't have an intent to paddle unless women start to paddle as well and stop getting the special treatment and no amount of real men appraisal or pussy promises will get me to start paddling, I am willing to burn all the bridges from anti-male system and start demanding equality and I don't care to sustain such system that is unjust towards men. If it's unjust towards men, then I have no loyalty towards it. It is not a men's duty to serve such system. Serving and just system is perpetuating and promoting injustice itself and one should actively oppose and stop serving such system. The only ideology I'm here to serve is the pro-male one. I have no interest in political parties, left-wing or right-wing, I'm only willing to use ideas that are here to benefit men. Both wings belong to the same anti-male gynocentric birdie, one wing perpetuating misandry and expansion of female privileges and other promoting male disposability male passivity and apathy and actively standing in the way of men's rights. When women start utilizing these privileges against men,
both sides start pointing finger at each other and whitewashing female behavior, one side telling men that it's not women exercising their privileges, just the capitalism and capitalist alienation and other side saying it's just the leftist, communist, atheist, Jewish, globalist subversion or just those elites, those evil, satanic elites. I'm tired of left-wingers complaining how women are oppressed because of the catcalling. So, men have to deal with genital mutilation, me too, false allegations, women having control over family unit, draft, affirmative action, male suicide rates, double standards in sentencing, but let's continue ignoring these issues and focus on helping women in discarding low status men because if the guy is not Brad Pitt, they might get annoyed like everyday person that just to deal with insults and annoying people. To hell, maybe we should start lynching men for catcalling and give them the treatment black men had in past while throwing the words like misogynist at men, just like the word nigger was thrown at blacks. Also, I'm tired of right-wingers saying that only men are to be forced to die in draft and that boy's dream is to be raped by Koga while they ignore those boys that were raped and forced to pay child support and continue perpetuating double standards at sentencing at the expense of men. They will demand that it's man's duty to prevent white genocide and to man up and start being responsible for others while they block alimony bills promote the idea that women are natural caregivers and give in to the whims of women while saying that men who don't want to get married are like Marxists and that they're anti-family and anti-progeny. In other words, they will ignore their own contributions to the anti-male climate and the fact that women can kick out the men out of the family unit and collect child support for the kids that father doesn't get to see, continue with their scapegoating and playing a lot of mental gymnastics. Pro-male collective should be focused on equal rights and fair treatment for men and use tools we have at our disposal. I don't care for a bunch of concerned trolls throwing the you're just like feminists slash SJW's remarks, women have been pushy and demanding and it worked for them, when feminists demand free tampons as medical necessity, other women mostly don't object to this. So, if the nice words and pleas aren't working, but being pushy and demanding is, I am not bothered by these comparisons if we get results. If we need to demand from people to start acknowledging baby boys humanity and staunchly defend their body autonomy and integrity while I'm doing comparisons to a group of people that relies on wonky conspiracy theory to push discriminatory quotas, then so be it. If slapping the greedy, entitled hands of women while demanding our rights and equality, gets us comparisons to feminists who push for female birth control pill while objecting to male birth control pill, then so be it. If the need for acknowledging the fact that misandry we face exists in humans without absolving women leads to us being labeled as misogynists, so be it. Sexism, distrust, jealousy, resent and envy, tease and denial, dressing provocatively and then bitching at those men that dare to look at you, these things are part of female nature, not caused and engineered by government, elites or political ideologies. We need to acknowledge these things in order to cause cultural shift, pejorative slurs, sexist ideas and thought terminating cliches like male sexist pigs, misogynists and violent, rapey men are just the manifestations of this problem. We need to raise awareness in order to cause that cultural shift, then, people will start acknowledging that using these words is like using the word nigger. As for banning and censorship, not only do I support it for tactical reasons, saving us time and space, but I also think that there should be consensus on it in the pro-male community. I do not welcome hijackers, derailers, scam artists, stalkers, harassers and gaslighters, nor do I welcome anti-male behavior, strawmaning, concern trolling and trolling in general. I don't want people who aren't interested in engaging honestly and I don't want people who place their obsessions over men's rights on my channel. If you don't share pro-male interests as your primary interest, then I would suggest to stay away from my channel. I don't welcome conspiracy theorists, right-wingers, libertarians, incaps, anarchists, breeders, white nationalists and any other type of racist ideologues, PUAs, tradcons female validation addicts and other people and groups that are obsessed with women, birth rates, religion, skin color, etc. Do not waste my time, I have no interest to read your conspiracy theories of any sorts, nor do I share your interest in anti-statism, taxes, gold standard, 
so-called white genocide or anti-Semitic prejudices. I don't want mentally ill people with scapegoat female behavior on other groups whether it's elites, banking dynasties, Jews, communists, atheists, etc. on my channel. Since YouTube tends to show only some comments unless the set to newest, comments option is chosen, I will delete any unrelated stuff like trolling comments, especially those toxic threads. One thing I would like to mention is that I had a guy from Mgta community who briefly subbed and posted his comment on my first video saying go your own way before he unsubbed and deleted that comment for which I'm glad. I am not Mgta nor do I support it, in fact, it's very opposite to the values I'm trying to promote. Mgta promotes passivity and individualism instead of pro-male collectivism and activism. Like one of the frequent commenters on the pro-male videos said, I quote, Mgta is a sour grapes movement or failed traditionalists who are withdrawing from society and hoarding resources because they can't get a woman or have been discarded by one. Most Mgta don't really care about MGM or any other men's issue that falls out of the sexual realm, dating and mating and they're too passive to do anything. A lot of them rationalize their passivity with collapse porn fantasy and rebuilding a so-called patriarchy. Look, I want to shift focus on men and their issues, not waste my time on pointless talks centered around women, dating and mating or the so-called wall nor do I care whether men has sex or not. I consider people hijacking their message of my videos very disrespectful, so if you intend to post these mktow memes, do not expect me to welcome you with open arms. Also. I don't want people with Mgtaw in their username posting on my videos, if you post, I will give you ultimatum to change your username before I block you from my channel. Those that watch Tutuber analyzing male slavery will notice that my banning policy is very similar to his, so I will not waste my time going into more details, you can check out his videos. Anyway, I think this was clear enough. I wanna help in creating pro-male frame of reference and contribute my part. Free speech doesn't mean that I owe you a platform or that YouTube, private corporation owes you one, there are plenty of other channels, platforms and spaces for others, but this one is pro-male one, my doors are open for proactive, pro-male men and closed for others. I'm not here to lick asses and make friends, I'm here to kick asses and take the fist right in the face of misandry.